Welcome back to Phillips Hot Rod Garage. All right guys, so this week's project is gonna be more work on the trunk for the Model A Special Coupe. We made a good bit of progress on that trunk last week. So I wanna make some good progress this week, so I might as well quit wasting time. And go ahead and get started. And for those of you who have just recently joined us on the channel, this is the main project that we're working on on the channel right now, this 28 Special Coupe. We've done a lot of work to this car. Some of the last things we did was I rebuilt this bottom cross member, replaced this panel, replaced this panel inside here. Been working in the floor. We got some new subrails put in. We got the front subrails repaired. We've been working on this car for a while on the channel. I got all the subrails up here repaired. We rebuilt these front pieces up here, the subrail extensions on both sides. Did a lot of rust repair on all that. Got the doors where they open and close well. We rebuilt the bottoms of the A pillars down here where they were rusted out. We replaced the bottoms in those. We got a set of aftermarket cow sides to fit up correctly. We did a lot of rust repair on the gas tank. Sandblasted all of that, got it all primed with some epoxy. You can see the A pillar on this side, I've got it repaired. I'm working on a 32 frame. There's a lot of work to do on the frame. I'm saving that until the body is solid so I can make the frame fit the body correctly. And also, I cut the bottom out of the tank. Got all that clean and sandblasted, primed good. I've still got to do the quarters and the doors and get those all fixed, get all the rust fixed in those. Then we've got a lot to do on the roof, but this trunk is the current project. Got a lot of rust in it that we've got to fix. So that's what we're working on this week. All right, so we're trying to save that old rusty trunk over there using parts out of this old rusty trunk right here. So we cut this out last week and got it cleaned up. So this is my patch panel for that trunk over there. But this week, I got a patch, my patch panel. And since I've got this entire trunk that I can use to cut up, I'm gonna take the easy route on rebuilding this corner. And instead of having to try to rebuild that by hand with some sheet metal, I'm just gonna come in here, cut a section out of this trunk and use this portion here to weld right there. Let's flip this around and look at it. And see, that's the same shape all the way down, so I got plenty of material to work with. Now the contour of it may be a little bit different. The trunk's a little more flat than this piece here is. So once I get this cut out, I probably have to put a little shape in it, but that'll be fine. I can make that happen a whole lot easier than I can start from scratch to try to rebuild that other corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it out, cut me a piece of that out and see if I can make that work.
All right, I got it. All right, so you can see here what I've been doing. I've been shaping the end of it here. I'll show you on the trunk what it's supposed to look like. You can see here the trunk has a curve on the end. Now there is some damage there, but this curve is supposed to match up. And I'm gonna have to repair that. Yeah, actually the junk trunk right here has a really nice corner on it. So I matched it up to it. That's where I got my shape from. So that's looking pretty good. So now what I've got to do is I got to cut this back because I want to weld it in about right there because this is so thin right in here. I want to actually Put it in about right here to the edge where that rust hole is right there so i'm going to cut the old the uh, new panel off right here and of course i'm going to cut this back a little bit so this can extend all the way out so this is going to be cut off here and up through here so that it ends up about right there that's how i'm going to get that done
All right, so let's get an up-close look at this thing. You can see I got it hammered pretty close now. Hammered a, a curve onto the end of this here. Had to curve that around to fit the old panel. But as you can see, that's lined up pretty nicely from the bottom here. You can see that my shape is pretty close. It's lined up pretty good here. I don't think you're going to get much better than that. So now what I have to do is I have to cut some of this off. I don't want to put that much of it in. So I'm going to cut some of this off here. Then I'm going to put a mark along this line, cut the old one off, and just butt weld this together. When I'm done, you probably won't even be able to tell that it's had a patch put in it. And of course, when I go to put it onto the other trunk, this is going to be cut down shorter across here too. That's why I'm not trying to fill this in, because I'm probably going to end up cutting it like right along here, or just right below these rust holes here. It's probably going to end up being cut right across here to install it into the trunk. So that's where I'm at on it. I'm pretty happy with that. So let me get started cutting it down and do the final fitting and get it tacked in place.
All right, so let's take a look at it. Got a nice tight seam there. It's gonna be easy to weld up. Let's take a look from the back side. Look at that. I am pretty happy with that. That's gonna work real good, I think. And honestly, I didn't do anything spectacular to try to make it fit that good. I just used this little marker to make a nice fine line and cut it off and use this little grinder just to grind it back to the line and fit real nice. So I don't know if I want to MIG that or if I want to use the TIG. Honestly, I can MIG that up and be through with it pretty quick. But if I use the TIG welder, I kind of just learn as I go on that thing. Not the best TIG welder in the world. But we'll see. I might TIG it up just to get some practice. We'll see what happens on that. All right, so I just decided to set this on here to see what it's going to look like. Of course, we're going to cut all that rusty mess out, and then we're going to set this in place and weld it in. But what I think I want to do is I want to stop right there. I might as well go ahead and clean this up before I weld it in. So I'm going to get me some sort of container. i got to find something and put some acid in it and dip that down in there and just let it soak a while. Clean that up real good before I weld it in. So that right there is where we'll pick up in the next one. So I'm really happy with the progress that we're making on that trunk. That's looking good. But let's shift gears for a minute. Last week, I talked to you about the little flathead V8 project that I got going here. I'm going to try to get a run stand built for this thing and get it running. I have been working on this engine this week, along with working on the Model A trunk. Um, but I've decided that instead of putting any of that footage in with the videos on the Model A, I'm just going to create a separate series of videos for this project. So we're going to have the Model A project going. We're going to have this engine project going. And we're going to have all the miscellaneous things that I get into going on on the channel as well. I still got to talk to you about the two Model A's that I went and picked up. So what am I going to do with these? I don't know. Kind of digging this Roadster pickup. I might want to keep that. I actually picked those two cars up in this engine at the same time. And um, still got to show you what the plan is for those. That's coming up soon. I'm working on that video also. So I appreciate you guys watching. I just thank all of you for taking the time to check out the channel. Be watching out for the videos coming up on the flathead. I got one coming up possibly this week on this engine. So appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next one.